traffic. It is the common enemy of passengers, drivers, and pedestrians. According to Waze, a traffic navigation software, Manila, Philippines has claimed the top spot on the list of the worst cities in the world to drive in. Traffic has been very evident in many cities and it has been a long and ongoing problem for our country. If you would be asked, what do you think would be the solution to the traffic problem in Metro Manila? This is the Elevated Bus Rapid Transit, an innovative bus design that straddles over traffic through a transit system. It can carry up to 1,200 passengers with 300 people on each segment of the bus. This elevated bus runs through fixed tracks with distributed bus stations allowing the vehicles to stop by for passengers and recharge through the solar panels embedded on the roof of the bus. Private and public utility vehicles can pass underneath the elevated bus without causing traffic. In order to avoid collision, the elevated bus has sensors installed to yield signals if there are vehicles nearby. This straddling bus could save up to 2,640 tons of carbon emissions compared to riding conventional buses. Another advantage is this bus can run through a speed of up to 60 km per hour even on challenging road curves. Now that you have understood how the elevated bus rapid transit works, let's see how it plays in the real-life setting. The elevated bus rapid transit innovation is no higher than a tractor trailer. It initially has a width of 7 to 7.8 meters and a height of 4 to 4.5 meters, with a meter distance each in between three 12-meter carriages, which is why overpasses would not appear as a problem with its design. The main compartment of the innovation is elevated, which means cars could still pass by underneath. The innovation will be equipped with built-in elevators with station platforms leveled with the bus floor. This is for the convenience of its passengers such as easy boarding, accessibility for disabled people with minimal delays. The transit will also be equipped with number of carriages which can hold up to 300 passengers each. So the bus design and security system is composed of built-in wheel hub motor that can travel up to 60 km per hour, an indicator system if it is safe to pass and unload, indicators under are for monitoring purposes of vehicles below, and a power supply equipment for charging. The elevated bus rapid transit is a hollow design avoiding back illusions and allowing cars to pass safely beneath it. Moreover, this mode of transportation is equipped with signal controls which focuses on bus priority and safety operations. Another thing that is unique in this innovation are the safety features of the elevated bus. The system of the bus is programmed to sense and prevent road accidents. When there is a collision ahead, the emergency brake systems installed underneath would respond to the warning signals programmed to halt the bus immediately from running. This would trigger an evacuation system that would clear the path for passengers against the cars blocking the exit and eventually pave way for the people to be brought to safety.
The performance of the elevated bus rapid transit was studied in the 13 cities of China. This data will be the basis whether the modern transit system can be applied in the Philippines, specifically in Metro Manila. The recorded peak ridership on 13 systems in China averaged over 5,800 passengers per hour per direction. 10 systems carry less than the average. However, the top corridor demand was observed from Guangzhou, China, bus rapid transit, carrying 29,900 and 843,000 passengers per hour per direction on an average day, being the highest capacity bus rapid transit system in Asia alone. With these data, what is the impact of urban characteristics to technical performance of the elevated bus rapid transit? The potential urban characteristics such as population, population density, GDP per capita, and congestion level may influence the technical performance of the elevated bus rapid transit in terms of peak ridership, commercial speed, and frequency. With these data, what do you think is the impact of physical characteristics on the technical performance of the elevated bus rapid transit? The following variables of physical characteristics which may affect technical performance include total length of the corridor, percentage of segregated busways, average station spacing, number of stations with overtaking lanes, BRT vehicle length, pre-board fare collection, signal priority at the intersections, and routes operated both inside and outside the bus rapid transit corridors. This is the Elevated Bus Rapid Transit. 